What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the best stub method in MLB The Show 22. If you enjoy tips on how to make a lot of stubs, no money spent, drop a thumbs up on the video, outdo the algorithm, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into today's stub making method. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code Fat Dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make one dollar bets, two dollar bets, three dollar bets. It don't matter. Choose your players. Come over to the right, put the amount in. One dollar bet, you have a chance to win three dollars back. I will be giving you guys free picks. Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, so the number one thing you want to do is make sure that you keep all non-sellable cards that you are decent with using. Sell off all the sellable cards. If you look at this 93 overall, David Justice. I sold him off when he was about 50,000 stubs. Went back and bought him when he was about 26 Okay, okay, so looking at this card, the 93 overall, I have this free 90 overall Louise Robert, parallel four. So he has a plus four overall. So this free card right here is currently better than this 93 overall David Justice. Okay, so no money spent. You wanna be smart with your stubs and your investments. That's the number one and most crucial part of being no money spent. Now let's get into some investments in the binder. Now this year they switched the quick sell value on a lot of cards. So if you look at this 85 overall Shane Bieber, this 85 overall is almost 5,000 stubs, meaning that it's better to sell him off creating a sell order than to quick sell your card. So what you wanna do is you wanna find cards that are performing super, super good in real life and is gonna give you a chance for you to invest very cheap and then get up to that 83 to 84 overall range and that's where the most stud profit is going to be so if you look at shane bieber and then you come over here to my investments i have 10 of the 78 overall andrew benatendi he's close to a thousand stubs but you can get him for 686 stubs as your initial investment it's going to take two or maybe three roster updates before you see the full value comes into play. But if he goes up to at least a goal right now, his value will almost double. He would be about 1,200 stubs. So you would double your initial investment from that point forward. So let's take a look at another investment. We have this 83 overall Ty friends who got boosted. He's one of the best hitters in the MLB right now. I was getting him for about 750 to 800 stubs. Right now, he is over double the value one more upgrade he needs a plus two for a diamond you will be seeing him at a 3,000 quick sell or closer to 5,000 stubs on the market that would be over a 4,200 stub profit on each and every investment so I have 18 of them right now that I have already double and triple my initial investment. I'm gonna hold on to him to see if he goes to at least an 85 or 86 overall. And if you've been following this channel, that's a lot of stubs. 79 overall JP Crawford is another good investment. It's gonna take him two to three roster updates before you see his full value come into play. But if he gets at least a plus one and then another plus two over the next few roster updates, you will been to double your initial investment. I have 27 of them. I'm going to get three more of these and two more of these. As long as you have six to eight good investments, you can easily have 500,000 stubs off of roster updates. No money spent. Another investment is this 80 overall Jazz Chisholm. I can see him going to about an 83, 84 overall over the next two updates. His stub has went all the way up from 700 to 1200 stubs. Another sneaky one is 76 overall, Jesus Sanchez. He's been playing pretty decent throughout the year. A couple more big games, I can see him getting to about an 80 overall over the next two updates. Now, I'm gonna do another video with my official locks that I think have the best chance, over an 80% chance of getting upgraded at the next roster update. So stay tuned to that. Let me know in the comment section, what investments have you been looking at or going after so far? And how many supercharged players have you been successful with? It's all love. I'll see y'all in 24 hours. Let's go.